everyone, this is Margaret Manning with 60 and Me. Now that I am in my 60s, I think a lot about aging, don't we all? You know, I really have to stop and think sometimes, you know, why do we age? You know, we live so much longer now than we did in the past. You know, what, what are those extra years for? What's the point? And uh, yeah, there's a very interesting book by a man named James Hillman. It's called The Force of Character. And in this book, he looks at this question. And, and as I said, it's something that I've thought about a lot because, um, you know, after women, for example, are past childbearing age, um, you know, what is our purpose? You know, what is the function um, of, of living, you know, till you're 80, 90, 100 years old? And James Hellman tries to grapple with this question, and I think he does a really interesting job with it, and I think he raises a point. Um, I'd love a conversation on it. I'd love to get your thoughts on it. Basically, what he says is that the reason that we age, the reason that we live so long after our productive years, is that we have to evolve our character that these years um, in our 60s and beyond are times when we're actually shaping our distinctive and unique characteristics and we're becoming, um, you know, who we are, we're becoming ourselves. And, you know, whether or not you have a spiritual perspective, um, his view is that the soul or the, the inner being, the, per the person that you really are, needs this time in the, the later years to actually find itself to be detached from the, the, uh, the, the rhythm of life which takes you away from self-reflection and examination, you know, when you're working, having children and, um, you know, busy in, in the community. Um, it get, the, being a little older gives you that time to reflect and to deepen who you are and build this character. In the olden days, or in, in the traditional cultures, um, older people were the voice of the, the values of the society and the community, and they had a place. Now we've got a bit of a different opportunity, and according to Hillman, this is the time where we have to pay attention you know, to the changes in our body and the changes in our mindset, um, not as disabilities or as uh, something that we're losing, but as uh, signs that we are now being given opportunity to deepen our, um, you know, our, this process of self-examination and building character. And that really, there's an art to aging. And this art to aging is to see it as not a time when you're trying desperately to be young again or to, you know, to relive your youth or, or you know, I don't know, dress like a young person or you're not trying to imitate youth. You're trying to build on your life experience and you're trying to build uh, what he calls character. I just think it's a really fascinating thing. He also talks a little bit about, um, well, I haven't read the whole book, but he talks about um, how even some disabilities, even dementia, for example, or some of the um, challenges that we have as we get older, you know, arthritis and pains and aches and pains are really there in a way to be a lesson to us. And that short-term memory, for example, may uh, reduce, but that's okay because it allows us to have a, a long-term uh, memory of our whole life in perspective. It's really interesting, it's a very fascinating topic. So I'd like to ask you this question. I mean, do you think that aging, that getting older, is an opportunity to develop our character and to bring out our distinctive traits and our distinctive personality? It gives us a chance to complete ourselves. Do you think that aging is an art? I'd love your feedback. Leave your comments in the section uh, below the article and uh, yeah, let's start a conversation. It'd be very interesting to read your feedback. Thanks so much, everyone.